So we got an interview with John um, Victor Ng, uh, who beat John Ng earlier in the tournament. Uh, let's see what he has to say. Exciting match. Victor Ang here with me. Thank you so much for joining us. Of course, me on the thank you. Victor, I did not know where to start this interview, honestly. Yeah. But let's just start with this, I guess. Um, I think that was the most explosive and impressive <laughs> turn thank one you, I you. have ever seen. The deck is super fun. I've it, it might surprise some of the audience, but I've actually pulled that playoff like at least five times this Oh tournament. no, that did not surprise <laughs> us. You know why? Because why? you handled it extremely thank you. smoothly. <laughs> thank you. It was like Yep, yep, and we were like, how many Lugias has Victor taken down this way? Because I feel for them. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so talk to us. The answer is always take down the Lugias. So I'm thinking maybe I run Raikou, and I run the Raikou V, and we also run Fighting Lightning Zero Aura, just for an extra, like, bit, because Raikou doesn't take that much to charge up. So if they think they're dealing with that uh, fighting lightning and then it's done, but it, it's kind of rough because it, it's so tight. The deck is so tight. It's about that. Yeah. Um, I think this is my fourth Lugia match. Um, I no, it might be my fifth. I think I'm three one one against Lugia right now. Okay. Um, I started off the tournament eight and zero, um, and then I went down to eight and one, and now now I'm here. But Lugia. That matchup, obviously, if you kill their lone Lugia, they can't they can't summoning star. They can't get their two Archeops in play, um, and then you're pretty much winning from there. So it feels really good to get that first first turn KO on a Lugia. Yeah, I think I think that play alone is going to cause so many players to just absolutely like net deck your yep, list yep. and take it into events from <laughs> it's there. It's very powerful. Um, so talk to us a little bit about this list. Where was the inception of it? The cards that you chose? Why this Lost Box version? Yeah. So as soon as I saw a Turbo. Lost Box in Liverpool, which he's going to mention, is when I wanted to build the Tobro version. So, um, I was testing the quote-unquote standard Kyogre Lost Box version that's popular in North America, that was popularized by Grant Manley and, and Azul, yeah. um, and I was testing that up until Liverpool, and in Liverpool, um, someone top 32, I think his name is Alberto, I don't know him personally, but okay. I saw his list and I, I thought it was really cool. Um, if my list is different from his, but it, it is based off of it. So that was kind of the inspiration, and I tested it, and it was going amazingly, and it, it suited my play style a little bit more than the quote-unquote standard Kyogre um, Lost Zone build, um, and that's why I decided to bring it to this event. So working off of a couple other lists, but this is kind of like your home brew, pretty much. Yeah, kind of, yes. Nice, that is awesome. So I, I think the most recent event we saw you in was Peoria, Illinois, mm -hmm. this season. Um, but now you're here in Orlando. Mm -hmm. um, is this like close by for you? I kind of want to get to know yeah, you as yeah. a player. I currently live in Virginia. I started okay. playing when I- No shout out. Hit me up, bro. I was little in New Jersey. Um, I won Nats in like 2010 as a junior back in New Jersey. And then I played, started playing again in 2017 up in Chicago. So I've, I've kind of been all over the place. <laughs> um, I flew down from Virginia this time. Peoria, I played another Lost Zone deck, but I played Inteleon in that one, which was kind of exciting, kind of spicy. And and that's my story as a player. I went to Worlds last year, and if yeah. I do well today, who knows, maybe I'll go for it this year as well. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, that's that's awesome to hear. And between Peoria and now, you've just been like playing online events? Mm -hmm. Mostly playing online. Okay. Um, it escapes my memory, but I don't think I've, I've gone to any regionals. I, I really, really hope Cups come back. I love Cups. So hopefully I'll get to play in some of those maybe at the end of this season or next season. So why'd you come here to Orlando, Florida um, to play? I Honestly, I first I just wanted to come because it was just cheap to get to, to, get to here from Virginia. <laughs> so it, it ended up being price efficient to come to regionals. I, I don't go to every single one normally, yeah. so I go to the ones that fit in my budget. Um, and then I started having second doubts because I was like, oh, there's so many players. It's going to be real hard to get top eight or even yeah. top 32. You're going to need an insane record. Um, but here I am. I'm, I'm doing pretty well. <laughs> I was about to say you are proving all of that wrong, really. Um, <laughs> you've been doing so well. Let's get in a little bit more to that match specifically. Okay. Yep. So you've gone against a couple of Lugias. What really is your main strategy going into that? And you know, how are you able to to do that strategy, to carry it out mm -hmm. in those matchups? So it changes a little bit if you're going first or second. Okay. Um, I would say if they have a lone Lugia, 
and you can kill it. Either they have and you can rope to it, uh, or they started it on the active and you can just kill it. That's obviously the best game plan. Knock it uh, out. <laughs> yeah. Knocked out for sure. <laughs> um, and then after that, you kind of have to just kind of if you if after that if you're able to do that, you pretty much win. And if you don't do that, it kind of gets kind of dicey and yeah. you have to find plays and and that's part of the reason I love this deck so much there's so many different options and so many yeah. different routes as yeah, you saw sure. in this in the second game um, I had a good lead but I had to horn a Dunsparce back to make sure yep. I could I could get the game the next turn um, so there's a lot of different routes you can go for you can start spreading to Archeops um, you can go for the Kyogre if they don't play Manaphy or you see them burn it or you kill yeah. it early yeah yeah, I mean, the, those games were vastly different. Obviously, you won in like one single turn in yeah, the first game. Yeah. But then going into the game two, it was a slugfest. Mm -hmm. That game went very long. But even throughout that, it was almost painful to watch. I feel bad for saying <laughs> this, but Diego, Diego's yeah, deck just got dismantled yeah, yeah. by yours Thank in you. <laughs> so many ways. And it, it was a little bit nervous in a couple situations, you know, the, the Colrises and the... Um, Flower selecting's got a little bit iffy here and there. Right. Was there any point in time in the match where you're a little bit nervous here and there? Um, I think it felt good once I took the first KO and then got rid of the Stoutland, so he didn't have that option. Yeah. Um, some Lugia lists play Thornton, but very, very few. Most most lists don't. It's um, kind of niche. Yeah, pretty niche. Um, so it was starting to feel good after that. And then as for like awkward choruses and flower selectings, mm -hmm. sometimes they feel bad to pick one. But like the more and more I play Lost Zone, like the more and more obvious it is. Like it okay. could be like, oh, I, I, I'm gonna have to take this, and it feels real bad. But it's like there's no other option. It just kind of yeah. feels right um, after playing so much with it and getting so, so much practice. So I wasn't too nervous, and I, and I was, I was happy to to take that win. So you think the more reps you put into the deck, specifically, the the decisions get more and more obvious yes. depending on the matchup. Yeah, and it's yeah. it's kind of nuanced, and it's hard to hard to tell sometimes. It depends completely on. The matchup, what you have prized, what what's on their board. If you're leading that game, guard peeping out from um, behind. What the current look at him. <laughs> game situation is it, it matters yeah. on all of that. It helps that I've been playing Lost Zone since it came out. Since yeah. I played it in played a different variant in Peoria, that helps a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. So going into this regional specifically, what were your thoughts on diving into this? Why did you choose Lost Box over every single other deck that you could have chosen for this? Um, ultimately, it was just testing well. Uh, me and some other uh, people that I'm staying with in my testing group have been trying some random like niche stuff. Like, what if we put um, Amazing Rare Kyogre and Lugia? And I, I, I think that actually showed up once or twice in Liverpool. Yeah. Um, but ultimately, we didn't find anything like meta breaking, and it, it makes sense because this format is kind of a little bit older. Silver so uh, Crown Zenith didn't add too many new new tricks. Um, so. We were just kind of playing around with the meta decks, and then this one came out, and I tried the list 60 for 60 from the top 32 list in Liverpool, yeah. um, and it was already really good off the bat, and I made a couple changes. It kept fe fe feeling better and better, so yeah, I just I just ran with it. I, I On PTT Geo, I was like 80% win rate over like dozens oh, nice. of games, so that is usually PTT a good sign. PTT Geo tested. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. No, that's awesome. Like, I... The depth of what just happened on stream, I think, is is wild. It's like so many people are gonna see you come to this event. Um, you know, maybe they haven't heard your name before, but how you performed with that specific list. This is a, such a unique version of Thank Lost you. Box. It's almost like a turbo. Yeah, Lost yeah, Box. for and sure. That's what John Ang was talking about. Yeah. Um, that you defeated him I as did, well. Yeah. So, do you have a specific name for the deck? Um, I think Turbo Lost Zone or Turbo Lost one. Box or Turbo Kyogre all like make sense for it for the deck. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So why would you advocate for people to play this version of what you're playing? I ultimately I think it's it's just the strongest version. Um, yeah. It gets awkward sometimes. The the normal quote unquote standard um, Kyogre list can have some options to revenge kill Stoutland that this one doesn't have. So if okay. if they kill you with Stoutland, turn one or turn I mean turn two. Um, with the with the standard version, you can either Zamazento or Snorlax Choice Belt to kill it, and then now you're trading a one prizer into a two prizer. So the downside of this deck, it doesn't have that. But to make, I mean, you saw on stream, yeah. you can compensate with the fact that you're able to kill something turn one, getting seven in Lost Zone. Pretty much no other Lost She's Zone deck so the format, keeps like, saying, even kill. attempts to go for seven on turn one. Yeah. Um, and I, uh, you just win so many games like that. Um, it's it's very easy to kind of toss it away and like and and say like, well. 
they're gonna have like five basic Pokemon. They're gonna yeah. have the perfect start. Of course, they're gonna like be able to play around it. So it's what's the point of even like getting seven in the Lost Zone turn mm -hmm. one? But I mean, it just keeps happening to me. So I, I think. know that's what I say. It's like it's like work work faster, not harder. Yeah, I guess, huh? Yeah. That's awesome. Well. I mean, I, like I said, you've been doing super well with it. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. Is there anything looking forward to going into your next matches that you're trying to avoid specifically, what you're trying to fall into to just get some easy wins? What do you think? Um, my worst matchup I already played, I think it was Xander Perot because he's okay. playing Mew with Mew. Manaphy. Yeah. <laughs> and Manaphy, with the Manaphy. The, with, I, if it was normal Mew, I'd be perfectly fine into yes. it. With the Manaphy, I tied him, and it was very difficult. It was it was really close. It came down to the wire to be able to tie him. So thankfully, that's out of the picture. Um, and then easy matches I want to fall into. I don't know if they're in my bracket, but I wanted to play Azul and Ian Rob. Um, the control deck. The control. Okay. The, yeah, Azul was control, and then Ian was Ice Palkia. Q, Palkia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, they have a similar strategy of going Ice Q, Washwater. Yeah. And I have um, outs. I, I played Azul and Swiss as well, and I have outs oh, okay. to that with um, with the Echoing Horn that you saw on stream as well. Yes. Um, and, and ropes and uh, Dragonite, of course, sh shredding the ice cube. So, so you're feeling pretty confident then going to your next matches? Um, I, I feel good. I, it is stressful being so high up and still not being locked for top eight. Um, yes, I, I, I know, do have to yeah. probably. I have to I think win you're at 32 least. 32 points right now. Yeah, so yes. I have to win one to potentially. I, I think I could bubble in theory, but my resistance is probably good. I think they're looking for 36, is 36. what Chip was saying. Yeah, oh, it's okay. high. It's oh, real no. high. So I have to win the next one in ID, probably, or tie the next one and win. Yeah, it's going to be is tough. unfortunate. But yeah, that that does kind of make I me believe nervous. In you, oh, you're down yeah. I'm going to try my best. And uh, if, if things keep going well the same way they have today and yesterday, then I, I think I'll be there. Awesome. Well, is there anyone you want to shout out? A playtesting group, family, friends? Go for it. Um, Sorry, buddy. You don't get that. <laughs> All right, that was his interview. Pretty good. Um, definitely my version of Lost Box I'll be building. Different from his, but I tech out a lot of stuff. So I'll post an update on my list soon. See ya.